Ryan Gosling. Baby, you can drive my car any day. Beep beep doo beep beep yeah. If you actually got that joke slash reference, I award you many respect points. I am really sorry this review was so late. I actually saw this film not only last weekend, but in advance last week, before it even came out in theaters. And I, I just, so much has gotten in my way, particularly the fact that I really wanted to think about this movie before I talked about it, just really give it some time to sink in, and then just so much came my way, by the way, of school and time constraints and just problems with, you know, my internet or camera, so finally I'm just getting to review this movie. So let's jump right into this. Initially, judging from the trailer, I thought Drive looked like a good movie. It sported Ryan Gosling in the cast, which is always an attraction, but it really wasn't until these stellar reviews started coming out in mass quantity for this movie that I got really pumped. And boy, did it deliver. Drive is such a diversely intriguing movie. It has you think it art house one minute and the next minute hero type actioner, and it transitions rather well between the two. Drive can be extremely violent, but is also deep in concept and character, and character is played extremely well by Ryan Gosling and Karen Mulligan, just to name the two leads, because the entire cast is just fantastic. Gosling acts his role in almost complete staunch nuance of subtle yet amazing performance. In addition, technically wise, the film is expertly made by director Nicholas Winding Ref. Drive is beautiful to watch and simply gaze in awe at. So overall, Drive may not be exactly what you expect, but at that is a brilliant made genre bender. So for that, I will give Drive a very strong 9.5 out of 10. Wouldn't it be, like, really cool to have Ryan Gosling's character in this movie be, like, a driving instructor? Like, for children learning to get the license? I mean, I think driver's ed a lot more interesting. 